Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we got Gunslinger Elysium Suicidal, and I've been playing Maple Story. I said I'd talk about it in this episode, and I'm gonna do it, okay? Um, and I talked about it uh, a while back, but I'm not on the uh, rankings in Maple Story, right? Hello, you just like appeared out of the ground? I'm not on the rankings, right? Because uh, I've, been, I've been banned before. And, uh... That was unfortunate. I didn't like it. I didn't like not being in the rankings. I like being on the rankings, you know. And uh, it sucks. So I send a I send a ticket in, bit of a shot in the dark, to see if they could uh, like reverse that and then put me back on the rankings. And I didn't expect much to come of it. I expected them to basically be like, "Nope, you've been banned. Like you're not on the rankings," you know. Like, sorry, deal with it. And that was that was what I was expecting, but. Uh, what ended up happening was they like ascended my ticket to the to the relevant departments. I can't think of the right word, um, but they they uh, you know they, they they pushed the ticket to the right departments, and then uh, they got back to me and were like, yeah, we'll we'll be able to do this, and now I'm on the rankings again, so I can I can uh, rest easy knowing that people aren't going to think I'm a hacker and and uh, and kind of have that because it's it's nice. I, it wasn't like the end of the world, but it did kind of suck, right? Not being ranked, like it was, it was fine. Um, I wasn't beating myself up over it, but it, 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 it was definitely a point of minor stress for me, I guess. And uh, now it's gone. And it's it's kind of funny to me because Nexon, who runs the uh, Maple Story and uh, whose support I had talks to. Uh, they're renowned for having really, really, really bad customer service with like copy paste responses and um, nobody helping people and like nothing ever gets done and blah 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 blah, right? But like my experience with it is always not that. Like whenever I message support, they always it's always like a real human answering my questions and like they have reasons for what they're doing and I understand it and I'm like okay yeah you know thanks and like no problem <laughs> and it, it's like they're 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 definitely one of the better support teams that I've ever mentioned like message like by far it's like it's easy to do right like contacting them is is always easy they have like a live chat that's available um, their ticket system is easy to find and easy to use um, which is not true for a lot of places. Like a lot of places hide it behind a lot of stuff. Whereas with Maple Stories, it's just, it's not. Like if you have to send them a ticket, like it's readily apparent how you do that, which is highly appreciated because um, RuneScape in particular is is really bad for that. Because um, like if you want to send them a ticket, like good luck. Like it's you're gonna have to search for how the heck you even do that in the first place. Let alone like hope you get a response. Like just good luck. <laughs> it's not good. Um, whereas with Maple Stories, it's it's readily apparent how you do that. It's right there. You go to the support page. They give you the FAQs, um, and uh, they give you like, you know, a little button to start a ticket. It's very very easy to do, and that's very much so appreciated. So that's like a point for Nexon support, like a big point in their favor, like huge point. Okay, that's like you're already off to a great start. You excel at support so far okay nothing that can possibly like deter people from from uh, from talking to their benefit okay in my experience when I send a ticket I typically get a response back within like five hours that's telling me what's happening usually it's like hey you know you're talking about this thing we're going to you know direct this ticket to these departments they'll look into it and get back to you when they've come to a conclusion and I'm like Awesome. I'm being let know, like, they're letting me know what's happening. You know, like, a lot of places will just be, like, forwarding it to the right departments and, like, you know, doing all that kind of stuff. But they won't tell you that they're doing it, so it just feels like you're just waiting forever for no reason. And they're not getting back to you. Whereas, uh, you know, with Nexon support, I, it's typically, like, just hours after I send the message, they're like, yep, we're going to send this to this department. They're going to look into it. And, uh,. They'll get back to you with uh, with the response when they've uh, made their decision. 
So that's another plus. So far, nothing bad. And that's like, I've sent a lot of tickets in about a lot of problems. And uh, that's that's consistent. Like, it's every time I send this ticket that that's like what happens, right? Um, and... Uh, Like that's that's good, you know. That's that's good support. Like it takes time to, to look into these issues and make a decision. They have a lot of you know requests coming in and stuff. It takes time. I get that. You know, I appreciate being let known what's happening and being kept up to date with uh, with the process. That's that's highly appreciated. So again, very good. Um, and then the next thing that happens is uh, they will. Like, get back to me within a few days, maybe a week or two, um, sometimes, depending on what the problem is. You know, whatever, like, they, they told me that it's going to take a bit for them to, to make a decision, and it takes a bit for them to make a decision. That's okay. I don't mind waiting. You know, like, it's fine. Like, they have other things to do, too, right? It's not like my problem is the only thing that they're dealing with right now, so... It's fine, right? If it takes, it takes a week, two, or whatever, that's okay, you know? It never really takes more than a week anyway. Like, typically it's a few days when I have a problem. And, uh, uh, you yeah, know, then they get back to me with the problem. And the problem is always either fixed or they, uh, will mention why it's not fixed, you know? Like, they'll, they'll either fix it and be like, yep, we've, we fixed this, this is what's happening, you know, thanks for letting us know. Or they'll be like, we can't do this. This is why, you know, thanks for letting us know. We're sorry we can't be more help, you know. And and both of those are reasonable. You know, sometimes there's things they can't do. Like, I, that's what I was expecting to get, you know, was, like, some something more along the lines of, like, you know, thanks for bringing this to our attention. We're sorry, but it's, uh, it's our policy to not remove people from the rankings once they've been on it. Um, you know, if the, if the reason for the removal isn't... Uh, refuted right that's that's what I was expecting a, a, a no and then like an explanation for like why it's a no that's that's what I was expecting and uh, that would have been good customer service it would have been a disappointment to me because I would like to have been removed to be to be added back to the rankings um, but that still would have been good customer service you know even though they didn't help me with my problem my problem was inherently selfish right like I was asking for them to do something for me that they didn't have to do for them to say no would have been good customer service because they were at least letting me know that it wasn't going to happen. You know what I mean? Like, even though they didn't fix my problem the way that I wanted to, that's not their fault. That's the policy, right? Um, so, that still would have been good customer service. Um, thankfully, they did add me to the rankings, which is, like, you know, awesome, but doesn't affect, you know, like, <laughs> the customer service experience as a whole. You know, like, they, they fixed my problem, which I'm, I'm happy for, but that's more of, like, a... That, that's separate from customer service. Um, you know, they didn't excel at customer service because they fixed my problem. That's a selfish way of thinking. Um, anyway, so they, uh... They always handle it in, like, a respectful manner, which I appreciate. And then, uh... You know, they, they end up, like, leaving the ticket open, like... You know, with some kind of remark, like, uh, if there's anything else, you know, that we can help you with, yada, 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 kind of that kind of ending kind of stuff, right? And I always respond with, like, uh, you know, nope, that's fine. Thank you so much for helping. I really appreciate it. Blah, 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 blah. And then they get back to me even on that, which is completely unnecessary, just to, like, show their appreciation for me thanking them. You know what I mean? Like, just to be like, that's no problem. We're happy to help. You know, thanks for... Uh, you know, supporting Maple Story or whatever, right? Like that, that kind of stuff. Like that's like the extra mile. And I'm like, I look at the uh, the support experiences I have with Nexon, and I'm like, just for real, it's one of the better support teams that I've personally dealt with, like at all. Like not even just in games, but just like at all. Like they're they're stu they're ex really really good. They're timely, respectful. They always provide a reason for what they're doing. Like, it's it's a it's really, really good support team. So then that brings me to question. If I always have good experiences, 
And everybody else that's yelling at them and telling them that they're stupid and bad is always getting bad experiences. It makes me wonder, why are they getting bad experiences when I'm getting good ones? And I think I have an answer. I, th I think I do. So we're going to go ahead and... Uh, We're going to go ahead and look at uh, a post here, okay? One of the one of the, the 124th highest rated post on uh, the MapleStory subreddit, okay? Please, next on, help a brother out. It's been like a day and a half for a simple request. So this is showing that they haven't gotten a response in a day and a half. And that they're deciding that it's a simple request themselves. And then poking fun at uh, somebody who might have misunderstood their um, writing. Like, this is reasonable, in my opinion. <laughs> you know, like, they might not have English as a first language or whatever. And, you know, they're like, whatever, like, we're working on it. Leave us alone. So they just, like, read through it briefly and they're like, whatever, like... We're who cares? <laughs> like, it's not, this isn't assisting with anything. And then this is like a bad experience that they're having. And I'm like, it's your fault. Like, just wait. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, and that's not the only one. Like, I could go through the list of, of the, the posts in the subreddit and find even more where people are like yelling at them and calling them stupid and being like, I spend money on this game and blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, this is why you aren't getting su like support. <laughs> you know, like, this, this is why they're not helping you. Because they're, they're people too. But you're, you know, your opinions on Nexon aside, like the people who are on the other side of the Nexon support team are human beings. If you're going to be rude to them, they're not going to pay as much attention to your to your thing. And it's not even like, you know, just be a nice person. It's like, be a nice person so your support gets fixed, you know? And then like, you know, you should also be a nice person because like, they have to deal with a whole bunch of people like you. Which is <laughs> not fun. But it's just like, you know, it makes sense when I when I think about it that like these kinds of people who are like rushing them and being like it's been a day and a half. It's been a day and a half. You guys have read my thing for like at least three hours now because I sent it in like you know maybe after the work hours and then it took you a little bit to get to my request and then you know you might have had to like forward it to the right departments and uh, you know that maybe they haven't had a chance to like read it yet because it's only been a day and a half since I sent it. But it's been a day and a half. Can you just do it? It's a simple request. Just do it. Like, I know that's not what it says, but like, that's what it's like feeling like when you're on the other side, you know? Like, so it, it makes sense that, that, that other people would think that, uh, that Nexon has bad support if this is the kind of stuff that they're doing. And like, that's a tame example of, of somebody requesting support poorly. Like, I'll, I'll read what I, what I sent, okay? Like, I'll, I'll read it. I'll read it out, okay? And I'll, I'll show the, the whole, like, support thing, okay? Let me log in first. This is my email, and I'm going to mute it from my password. I don't want you to hear my password. Remind me later. Uh, support. How do I get to the ticket section again? Do, do, do. I know I said it was... Um, easy to find it is I'm just like I clicked on cart rider I'm looking for how to get to the maple story support I clicked on cart rider <laughs> so, so you know I mean I don't think it's their fault that that I'm not able to find it right now I think it's more my fault uh, than anything else I know it's like I'm at the page to submit a request that I can get to. Um, getting to my support tickets that I've sent. Okay. Can I read all of this? Is this all stuff that I can read? 
Um, probably from like here. Okay. Hey, I was banned a while back from actoring. At the time, I was like a level 160 wild hunter with maybe 100 mil to my name. Since then, I haven't been banned and haven't done anything that would warrant it, and I made a lot of progress. Almost all of my progress was made since then. The minor amount of progress made for breaking the TOS has almost zero effect on my account at this point. And when I was banned, I was slowing down the key. I just wasn't looking at my screen. I won't refute that what I did was worthy of being banned, but I do think it's reasonable to say that what I did didn't actually affect my account's progression, and I would really, really appreciate it if it were possible to get it back to the rankings. I would have made a new account back then when I got unbanned and came back if I realized it was such a problem, but at this point I've invested so much time and money into the account that making another one doesn't really make sense. And not being ranked really feels bad. If it's not possible, then I guess that's that, but it would be really appreciated if it were. Thanks for your time. Um, mostly copy and paste response, but again, they're letting me know that like stuff's happening. Appreciate that. They're uh, escalating the ticket to an internal ban appeals agent who specializes in these types of issues. They're asking for my patience, and they'll get back to me when they can. It took a couple of days for uh, Grindax to get back to me, who says that uh, per review of the reasoning behind this account's removal from the rankings, they're going to be providing leniency and restoring the account's access to the Maple Street rankings. It may take 24 hours to complete and will require relogging. Uh, such leniency is not granted freely. If further violations are found, sanctions that are much stricter will be placed in the account. Specifically speaking, uh, if I'm removed again, no matter of appeals will reverse the removal. Um, thanks for your understanding of this matter. Thank you so, so much. That means so much. And then you're most welcome. Take care and be well. And uh, that's that's like a, a very... Like, just, just looking at any kind of support team from any company, that's goals. You know? <laughs> like, that's... The kind of support that they're aiming for. That the, that's the kind of support that when they go for like, you know, training, that that's, that's the kind of support that they're looking for, okay? And I've been to these kinds of training places. I, I know for sure that that's like what they're aiming for, okay? Like that's that's A tier support, without, without a doubt, okay? They let me know what was happening. They got back to me in a timely manner and uh, explained it every step along the way, and then they closed it up with a, a respectful comment responding to something that really didn't have any impact. That's like, excellent performance, <laughs> okay? Like, like if I was like a secret shopper or something like that, they would have passed, like, with flying colors. It's incredible support. I know it doesn't seem like much, but like, you don't have to do much. You just have to keep people up to date with what's happening, and then, you know, respond to their problem. And close it up with the with the you know a goodbye a thank you a you're welcome kind of thing you know uh, make sure that people are feeling cared for and and uh appreciated and i do and that's what you're aiming for and uh they did a fantastic job of that now i could go look through like some of the other support tickets that i've sent we're not going to do that um because it's just going to take up too much time but uh like every support ticket i've sent to nexon on any accounts for like however many years I've been sending them has always been matched with like similar levels of support. It's always amazing. And then you look at other people who are like talking about how bad it is and you look at the kinds of stuff that they're saying compared to what I'm saying. Like I'm very respectful. I'm very, you know, understanding and I'm patient. I'm not rushing them. I'm not saying that they have to fix it. I'm not saying that it's a simple issue. I'm not saying that, you know, these things are things that have to be fixed. I'm, I'm saying you know, this is my opinion. I understand if it's not okay. Uh, I would really appreciate it if uh, if something could be done anyway, though. You know, like I'm not I'm not entitled. I'm not acting like I'm better than them. I'm not, you know, pretending like my time is more valuable. Like like I'm just asking for help, explaining my issue, and and hoping for the best. And then they respond with kindness and respect, uh, in, in kind, you know? If, if I were to be a jerk about it, and I were to be, like, yelling at them, like, Hey, I was removed from the rankings, but I wasn't really, like, doing anything anyway, so can I just get back onto the rankings? Like, everything I've done has been since then anyway, so it's not really reasonable for me to still be removed from the rankings when, you know, it didn't really accomplish anything anyway. And then when they're like, well, since this is a ban appeals thing, we're going to be sending it up. And then, like, you know, a day later, I was like, it's been a day and a half. This is just a simple request. Like, can you just help a brother out? Like, come on. Like, you think they're really going to do it? You, you think they're going to, like, care to help me? You, you think they're going to, like, actually remove my 
My, uh... You think, you think they're gonna provide me with leniency? You think they're actually gonna help me? No. <laughs> no, they're not. They're gonna be like, this person's a dick. You know, and especially within the context of like being banned, they're gonna be like, "This person's a dick." Like, why? Why should we help them? Like, there, there's other people who are being not dicks. Let's go help them instead. You know, like, it's it's not hard to just be respectful and patient. And and if you do that, then then in my experience anyway, you get you get rewarded with. Uh, and it's not like you can just suddenly be a good person as well if you're um. If, if you've previously been a dick in uh, in customer support because they they have like you're flagged basically um, they, they'll they'll typically flag you or put your name up if you're being a, a, a jerk in the in support and they'll typically put your name up if you're being a real nice person too um, you know you'll you'll uh, they'll never say it but uh, it does happen if, if you're nice and respectful you'll get priority if you're rude and not You'll you'll uh, you'll get lower priority. It's it's the way it works. They they'd rather help somebody who's who's gonna appreciate it, you know, who's not entitled, who like thinks of them as a human being instead of like just some slave wage wage slave person thing, you know, like just the the views of Nexon and 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 their stance on on stuff really doesn't represent the people who work for them it's the same for like anywhere you know like you name a company they they have people working for it that are good reasonable people that care about whatever it is that they're doing and they just have you know bosses maybe that aren't letting them do it the way they want to or whatever but if you're being nice then like they're gonna be nice to you too it's just it's just the way it goes but so many people have bad experience with it and it's like they're renowned as having such like poor customer service that i'm just like Maybe you guys are just being dicks, <laughs> you know, like, maybe you're just not being nice. Have you ever thought about it like that? Like, maybe they just don't want to help you because you're entitled and annoying. Because I always get help. Always. Anytime I send a ticket in, they always respond and try to help. And if they can't, then I'll get some kind of compensation, you know? Like, I've had issues before where, uh... I was affected by a bug in a game, and like it went on for like weeks that they were trying to like fix this problem for me, and uh, they uh, you know ended up providing me with compensations and like XP boosts and like maple points and and stuff like this to apologize for it. And I'm like, that's reasonable, you know. A lot of people will look at this and be like, well, I would rather you just fix my problem. But the thing is, is you can't just do that, you know, like. You can't just do that. <laughs> like, there, there's so much that happens on the back end of, of these kinds of things, on, on the back ends of games, that make it so much more difficult to, uh, to, uh, to, like, fix things that you wouldn't be able to see, especially with a game that's, like, you know, over 20 years old. You know? Like, people right now are complaining about, uh, the server stability and stuff, and it is annoying, okay? Like, I, I won't deny that. There are server stability issues that are frustrating. Um, you know, we're crashing constantly and like... There are issues, right? And it is annoying. And it, and it is worthy of being vocal about how annoying it is. Um, in my opinion. But a lot of people are like, just fix it. Like, just put more money into the service. And like, it's not like... It's not like that's just a magical solution. Like, you have enough money. Like, you got tons of whales buying stuff. Like, just buy more servers I'm like that's not like how do you know that the problem is that like the servers aren't powerful enough like what if they are but there's just some bug in the game you know like what if star forcing your equipment is causing the game to like lag right now because of some update and they can't quite figure out a way to fix it that doesn't like disable the way to entry the black mage just because it's 20 years old and everything's kind of like tangled up together in the code you know like you don't know what's happening all we know is that uh, the servers are crashing. We, we can't diagnose it, you know? Like, we can't just say, yeah, buy more servers, because that's not fixing the problem, you know? It's, it's like, uh, if somebody's got like, you know, rowdy dogs, 
right? The dogs are acting up, and people are like, well, why don't you just buy more dogs then? Like, just buy more dogs. It's like, well, that's, that's just going to end up with more noisy dogs. <laughs> you know, like, that's not fixing the problem. You're just, you're just going to end up with more bad dogs. Like, it's not... The, the, the problem isn't the lack of dogs. The, the problem is that they're noisy. You know, like... You have to, you have to put the time in to, to figure out why they're being noisy and... You know, figure out what the problem is and, and how you can fix it in a way that isn't gonna, like... You know, you, you could rip out the dog's vocal cords. Now they can't be noisy anymore, but is that really a fix? You know, is that is that really the fix that we want for the, the dogs? Not really, you know? We'd rather fix it in a way that uh, that doesn't, like, you know, butcher the dogs. So, you know, it's gonna take a little bit more time. The, the fast way is just, just kill them all. It's very quick. Now you don't have any noisy dogs, but now... You don't really get to have dogs either, so like, you know, same kind of thing with the server. You know, you you could, they probably have a fix, and they're like, yeah, this is a quick fix. We could fix it tomorrow. Everybody's gonna be mad because we're gonna have to like remove a major part of the game that that they take advantage of that's causing these problems. I'm feeling generous. So it's like, you know, how do you fix it? We don't know. And it's not like I want to be like some kind of like next on White Knight kind of thing. It's just I understand that. There are problems that we don't know about that they aren't telling us because of one reason or another. Maybe it's policy. Maybe it's because it's related to some kind of exploit that they uh, that they don't want to get out and have too many people knowing about. Maybe it's because of the fact that everybody hates them. So no matter what they say, they're just going to be ripped apart anyway. Like, who knows? But there's things that they can't tell us. We don't know. Right? All I know is that every time I talk to Nexon support, they're very respectful, very kind. Every time that I play the game, I have a good experience, and it's just, like, all in all, a pretty good place. The only thing that I have wrong with it is how much other people complain, although that's kind of true for, for most games. People complain about KF2 all the time and RuneScape, and it's prominent everywhere, you know? People play the game, and then they're like, well, I don't like it! Like, well, just stop playing, then. <laughs> anyway, that's going to do it for today. So thanks for watching. Like the video if you like it. Subscribe to more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.